Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking crispy prawn balls or crispy prawn fritters. So let's start cooking. Now we're prepared to make the batter. I have with me over here 150 grams of self-rising flour. The brand that I'm using is actually Sunshine Self Rising Flour. I've tried several different kinds of flour before or self-rising flour before and this gives us the best effect. It offers the best crunchiness as compared to the rest. If you do not have self-rising flour and you want to make your own flour, basically for every 100 grams of plain flour, you will need to add in approximately 8 grams of baking powder. All right? And in order to make the crunchiness last, we'll be adding in 10 grams of rice flour. Okay, this hardens out the crust, making it very crispy for a longer period of time. If you do not have rice flour, you can omit this, but you will need to adjust the water accordingly. Add in also 20 grams of margarine. The margarine effect is to give the crust a very nice fragrance as well as to also increase the crispiness of the crust. Now, if you do not have margarine, you can use butter, no problem. But I've tried both before and margarine actually give you a much better taste for this recipe. Now, this is totally optional. I'm adding in half a teaspoon of MSG, right? This is how I was taught before to make this. No other seasoning needed except this MSG. But if you don't want to use MSG, by all means, you can replace this with chicken stock powder or just omit this all together. Now, we mix this up together first, right? And we'll slowly add in water, stirring as we pour it in. Don't add in too much first, bit by bit. But I'll let you know the exact amount of water that I've used once the batter is formed. Now in case, if you make the batter too watery, just add a little bit more of the self-rising flour in. Right? We need to mix it in slowly because we need to mix all the ingredients together, especially the margarine. The end result should be something like a yogurt. It should be a bit thick. I'll show you exactly how it looks like in a while. This is exactly how we want it to be, right? It should form a line on top of the batter first before it actually sinks in. So this is the right kind of texture that we want. I've used 200 milliliters of water. So always pour the water in a little bit because different type of flour, the absorption rate is different. All right, we need to rest this batter in the fridge for at least half an hour. And in the meantime, I will do a very light marinade on my prawns. Now we marinate our prawns. I have with me over here approximately 270 grams of prawns derived from 500 grams of prawns whole. I've taken off the head as well as the shell over here, leaving behind the tail only. Now if you are afraid that when you deep fry this, it will pop too much, you see this part over here, the sharp part end of the tail, just pinch this off. Once you peel this off, then there will not be too much of a popping, okay? So to marinate this is very easy. We'll just need approximately one quarter of a teaspoon of salt as well as one quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar is to make the prawns very crunchy and nice. So we just add both of them in. If you like a little bit of pepper, you can put one or two dashes, but to me, this is very good already. So we just mix them up well, leave them in the fridge to marinate for approximately 20 minutes or so. We'll remove the prawns at least 15 to 20 minutes before we deep fry them and make sure to pet dry them before we dip them in the batter. I'll show you how I do them in a while. Now we're going to deep fry our prawn balls. Heat up your oil, make sure it's hot enough. How do we test this? Using a, a chopstick, put it in. Right, we need to see bubbles rising up like this. That means the oil is hot enough. I'm using medium high heat over here. You can do the same. Make sure you pat dry your prawns first. Put them aside. Remove the prawns at least 20 minutes before you fry them, just to rest them at room temperature. The batter, you can just take them out, stir them up a little bit, right? I just took this right out from the fridge. Now we we'll just dip the prawns in. Let me show you how I do this. Basically, it's pretty simple. Just do it this way, and then just put the prawns in. Continue to fry them. Simple, just one, two, and put it in. Don't move them around, right? If you have another helper to help you to flip the prawns over, then they'll be good. If not, then you'll just fry them four or five pieces at a time. Look at this, how beautiful they are. They puff up almost immediately. We just need to fry them until they are golden brown, and then we'll remove them from the hot oil. If the oil gets too hot or too smoky, just turn the heat down a little bit. 
there's not much of a splattering because we have removed the sharp end of the tail. Wow, look at how beautiful. Right, something like this is good. We'll remove them from the oil and continue to fry the rest. Don't turn off the heat when you're removing the prawns. Look at how beautiful this is. And we'll continue to fry the rest. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Wow, smells really, really good. And let's try. I hope you can hear the crispiness. Oh. My favorite. Dip this in your favorite chili sauce or tomato sauce, and this is excellent on its own as a snack or even with your favorite alcohol beverage. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video, do click like on our video, and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and now it's your turn to cook. See you, bye-bye.